Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this will be a tarot reading for my Virgos. Hi Virgos! I know it's been a long time, no see, long time, no talk. I have taken a long leave of absence, but I'm glad to be back with you. And for those who don't know me, my name is Gigi Lee and I've been doing tarot reading on YouTube since 2014. And that brings me to giving my hats to all of those readers online who are able to you know record readings on a weekly and monthly basis because it takes a lot of energy to channel guys and you know sometimes i think there's some other readers as well that would take some leave of absence and come back but i'm happy to be back with you and i have better internet which is exciting and so let's not waste any time my virgos and start your reading i want you to know that before recording your reading i always uh, meditate and I ask spirit for guidance and let's see what spirit has to say for you my Virgos and I've been told many times that my reading manifests sometimes weeks or months later so you might want to check that out and keep that in perspective this is a general reading you guys okay it takes only what resonates with you let's start your reading ooh Mm. Oh, what's going on? Okay, so the Nine of Swords is in reverse, looking at the Ten of Cups. I feel that you have, or you will learn something that you wish you did not know, my Virgos, okay? That could be related to a family member or to someone that you uh, consider close to you. The Nine of Swords is in the reverse, so that could be rumors too, okay? There's certainly a lot of gossiping that needs to be verified looking at the moon, which represent deception, okay? I do feel that someone could be lying to you or someone could be, uh, you know, bring you along a wrong path with information that may not be true. Knight of Swords is in a reverse, right? It's a very immature talk here. Someone who wants to say things to really maybe defend themselves but still don't have the facts straight i would think because the king of cups is also in the reverse looking at the ten of cups so that's someone in your family that could be you for virgos okay you know be careful of what you're being told or what you have or what you say to other people don't be deceptive all right because there is some type of changes coming in in terms of your relationship we have the three of cups in a reverse okay so that will affect your future relationship okay um the ten of cups in the reverse you know there's someone in your family here there's really someone who's not seeing eye to eye you may not see eye to eye it could be a friend of the family or a friend that it's like family here okay or maybe there's someone else you could be waiting for some news which may not be uh, arriving on time the moon here is again in the middle is in a reverse that represent cancer so that could be a cancer who's not giving the right information all right king of cups also could be a cancer but I don't really put my card my sign to any card okay the way I see it is someone close to you right the king of cups and the ten of cups right this is an energy both of this energy are in reverse so someone close to you could be a sibling right someone maybe older than you or someone stable is not being honest okay that could be in terms of a long-term investment here page of pentacles it could be in term of uh, money it seems all right so someone may be putting things in your ears and it's just not maybe not happening or maybe someone is mm, giving you the wrong information just so you don't look into their finances here page of pentacles again for me that is a long-term investment and looking at the Three of Cups is, is some deception around you, my Virgos. It could be friends, all right? You know, this energy could also say that, you know, there's some type of, could be sadness, all right? Maybe you're waiting for something. You've been waiting for something for a long time. Maybe there's more time. It's going to take more time for this investment to, um, to benefit you okay because page of pentacles it, it's just it's really it's this very young energy it's something new all right it could be a message 
that you have received about an opportunity or maybe you're thinking investing in something in the future okay as i see kind of a lack of support here because it's you know prominent information that says that you know you know be careful of what you've been told or what you're saying to others all right that could potentially hurt your friendship or a connection three of cups with someone or people that cares about you here okay not of sorts is in a reverse so there's some gossiping information some type of lies coming in in your family in your household okay someone is trying to really uh create some confusion in your mind and that person is confused themselves or it could be that that person who's is deceitful purposely for you not to see that maybe the small investment that you're thinking of is going to take longer than you think or maybe you wanted to invest in something right now and it's just you know that could really brings you bring you some type of um you know it the two of them together page of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, right? Whenever I see this, earth and water, it makes things grow, but both of them are in reverse. So you're not investing, they're not investing in you, lack of growth here, right? Okay, but not both of them are in reverse. Actually, this is in a reverse, but this is in the right position. Maybe you want to invest into a relationship or something is it's too late or someone wants to invest in a relationship with you it's too late in the future it's not gonna unfold it's definitely something not happening here okay and i think it's because of the knight of swords because of uh, information that is not true all right okay something that's gonna affect your family that's gonna affect maybe a household right and it could be something related to a cancer it doesn't have to be it could be a mother figure too because it's the moon right there is some type of misunderstanding in terms of a family, right? There's, there's a man who's coming in deceptive here. The King of Cups is in a reverse. That could be you or that could be someone else, right? You know, be careful, my Virgo, because like what I see is like blockages with the Eight of Wands here. It's preventing you to reach a goal, right? All right, it's, de it's deterring you, deterring you towards the right path, right? Someone is really trying to really, um, you know, lead you to a wrong path, knowing that it, it may not manifest, right? In the eighth of the eight of wands, the right position, it's about manifesting what you are, right? Targeting something and making it happen, right? But it's in the reverse. It's not, right? It's not the right goal. It's not with the right people. It's just you're being led the wrong way to be careful. The fool is in the reverse, right? two major arcana right here uh the moon in the right position talks about the thief being deceitful right you could be deceitful or someone may be deceitful towards you but what's going to happen it's going to prevent a growth it's going to prevent uh, a new beginning right because the, the fool is number zero it's the first card of a tarot it talks about new beginning taking chance right going with your heart following your gut it's not just you know uh, something prepared is just deciding to do something and knowing that it's going to work. It's in the reverse right now. So something new is being on hold right now. Something new, a new path, a new beginning, it's being on hold due to some false information, due to some deception that could be coming from this King of Cups here, right? Someone that you trust, someone that you have invested a lot of time, okay, that you might have built a relationship, could be someone in your family, could be a friend, it could be a colleague, right, okay, but that person is not honest with you, I feel there's deception in the words, right, they are purposely giving you the wrong information for you not to see things for what it is, right, and then we have the six of ones in the reverse, okay, in this position is about victory, it's about winning right in the future right it's a victorious energy right being able to go back home with something to uh to be proud of right achieving something overcoming you know or getting a promotion it's in the reverse right now okay it's not going to manifest or it's 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 being on hold or it's being blocked okay okay so it's asking you to make a small investment not to put all your eggs eggs in one basket basket right now 
Virgos, don't put your eggs all in one basket. I feel there's a narcissist energy here. Someone who's just really uses their influence, their authority to mislead you. Watch out, okay? Could be someone close to home or it could be about a home thing or home situation that they don't want you to see looking at the moon here, all right? Because you knowing that, will prevent you a new beginning they're looking for. Maybe they want a new beginning for themselves, right? So they don't want you to see what the truth is. And then we have the lovers in the reverse here. What is happening, my Virgos? What's happening? Virgos, you're being misled. You know, you have to understand Neptune is a deceptive energy. It's in your seventh house. Neptune is currently in Pisces, the sign that it controls. I read on Neptune, right? Neptune is about seeing things, you know, a certain way, you know, hidden energy, people that have hidden agenda. It's in your seventh house. Seven houses are right just in front of you. It's in your relationship. So there's someone in a relationship being very deceptive. The lover card is in the reverse. That are still that that's also gonna prevent you to a relationship to manifest for you. Because you're putting your eggs in one basket and you're investing something, thing in it, bring you something right away, but it shows it's going to be a small, it's going to take time, first of all. All right. Page of Pentacles is like still on the level of talks and conversation. So if you're working towards a project or you want to buy something, right, I don't recommend that you really put more money if they're asking you to put more money or to you know, because they're going to ask you to wait. This this is a, for me, the page of pent pentacles is about a long-term investment. Okay? It's like still being in talk and conversation. It's not even putting anything on the table. It's just, I like to do that. Let me read on it. It's really on the beginning stage. So maybe you're thinking bigger plans, right? Because you have the eight of of wands here you have bigger goals but the result shows that it's going to be disappointing a little bit here with the six of wands maybe someone is using the time or your energy just to deter you from the vision from you to see something i don't know what that is right this is a general reading but the six of wands in the reverse is an is not a victory that's what i mean it's not a victory okay let me look at the king of cups let's look at him Okay, this deceptive energy coming from your home, looking at the Ten of Cups, all right, seems to be related to something that they want to hide. They want to hide something, all right, about them. That's what it looks like. That could be a business partner. That could be anybody, all right? But it seems to be someone that you consider close enough, right? Because the Ten of Cups is about family, right? It's in the reverse. Ten of Swords. Someone did something really bad, my Virgos. Someone actually backstabbed someone. They might have used you for that. It's looking really bad. This King of Cups, this Narcissist here, right? Well, Karma's going to get them. That's for real. Something, someone sees something. Someone has, Someone is able to see something all right the good news it's it, the ending that person is not going to be able to hurt anybody else or not going to be able to mislead mislead someone anymore because that's the ending all right i'm not sure if you're going to see it now right because the moon is just right up there in the right position and the fool is in the reverse so that prevents you to move forward in a direction that was supposed that you were supposed to go towards that was supposed to manifest some type of some type of victory in some areas of your life. It's in the reverse. Three of Cups is gonna affect your relationship as well. Okay. Why? It could be because you're putting a lot of time or investment into something and that, that is isolating you from other things. Because the lovers is a karmic energy. That's when that's what you want, also, but it's also represent a relationship. It's in a reverse. Let's clarify the Ten of Cups, my Virgos, okay? Now, we know that the King of Cups is really is 
have said some horrible things there's some backstabbing taking place that could confirm the gossiping here nine of swords maybe your reputation is at play here or maybe your person you're dealing with doesn't have a good reputation when you really look into things deeply but you have to look into it because the moon is deceptive so it's not something as obvious right because in a right position it means deception all right so it's not obvious right it's the moon but i think yesterday we had a lunar eclipse all right and it was in gemini so that's your 10th house and where's the ruler of gemini now is in your third house it's in scorpio you have to really look into it because you may not be you may be blindsided right now you may not know okay let's clarify the ten of cups oh the empress in the reverse someone actually hurt the most feminine the highest blessing the most abundant uh, energy in the whole deck the empress is in the reverse that's heavy karma to be dealing with someone is blocking the empress or the empress is that being affected by that she's in a reverse it's going to block your money. It's going to block your abundance. Because the Empress, wherever she goes, she brings blessings. And she don't have to really do any type of mantra with it. It's just the celestial energy that is with her, around her, that mu multiplies. And she's in a reverse. So she either has been restricted, oppressed, or maybe that's the one who's be, been backstabbed by this King of Cups. Or the results of this, not not being able to miss a goal, or I miss a goal, or the result of missing a goal, I should say, or not being able to reach a target is is gonna. That's where the lovers, I guess, is also in the reverse. Okay, something that have to do with a relationship. Okay, there's definitely an ending of a relationship where three of cups is in a reverse. It's not a victory. Someone is saying no. The empress is in a reverse. She's saying no. Okay, because she's not the one really. I mean, unless she put herself out herself because she has the energy. Because someone cannot be more powerful than her. Even if she doesn't look together, she is because her power is within her. It's not about what she's wearing, how she's dressing is the power of manifesting that's the person who don't have to work that hard and could bring things to her now this king of cups he has a problem okay and he's not higher than the empress okay the only um is not even higher but the most uh com comparable energy is the emperor all right so and the emperor is higher than the king so the empress is higher in the celestial world so she's closer to God. The king of cups in the reverse, it don't look good. That is someone who's very insensitive, first of all, cold. And with the ten of swords, someone said something really false here, backstab. Be very mindful here because for some reason, Virgos, it's affecting you. It's kind of heavy karmic energy here. I see this narcissist having control. Okay? But remember, when a narcissist know that you know that's when they change because you have found them for who they are you have really removed their costume and when you point the finger at them and you tell them okay i know who you are now that's when they lose control all right so he could have lost a certain amount of control and wanted to finish something said something really wrong right but there's the end of happening here I'm not sure how it does relate to you. Please leave me comments. I like to know. I'm going to end this reading here for you, my Virgos. Let me know how this resonated with you. Until next time, send you lots of kisses. Love you.